Kids walking to school across a busy road in Piqua now have some electronic help to keep them safe. Lisa Smith is live tonight to show us how these strobe lights work. Well, Deborah, this is County Road 25A here in Piqua, and there aren't any traffic lights or anything like that to help people cross the road. But pressing this button is the next best thing. They're called rapid flashing beacons, and they were just installed here in Piqua over the last week as part of a road improvement project. And we look at where are the riskiest places and what are the biggest obstructions to children walking to school. Piqua Police Chief Bruce Jamison says this is a risky road. It sits between a large subdivision and Piqua's junior and senior high school. I think what's good about this is people should get accustomed to the fact that when that thing is flashing, they know a pedestrian needs to cross the street. The lights are activated when a pedestrian pushes the button. Oncoming cars should come to a complete stop so that people can cross the street. Parents we talked to tonight think it's definitely a plus. I think it's a great idea um, that they just got that finished and anything that keeps the children safer. It was kind of a surprise. I hadn't really realized they were um, going to be putting it in. However, I honestly do think it's a really great idea to help keep people more aware. As far as awareness goes, we clearly saw drivers tonight that did not understand this new crosswalk system. The lights were flashing and they drove right through the crosswalk. Uh, drivers need to understand those lights are not going to be flashing unless somebody's wanting to cross the street. So as soon as they see those lights flashing, uh, if it's safe to do so, they should come to a stop. Now, drivers should get used to seeing these lighted crosswalks here around Piqua. The city is expecting to install perhaps up to seven of them around town. Each one costs about $5,300. Most of that is covered by a state grant. Live in Piqua, Lisa Smith, Fox45Now.com.